So we're now going to take a look at an introduction to the execute window. What is the execute window? Well, it's a customizable window where you can lay out grids with queues, palettes, and groups. You can copy over and record items directly to it. And it's really useful for busking shows or replaying your pre-recorded queues if you've run out of playback faders. So if I press the exec button up the top right of the Magic Queue software, this is going to take us to the execute window. Over on my A encoder here, I've got various different pages. So we've not just limited to one page for the execute window. I can scroll through these pages up and down like so. Up on the top left of these soft buttons, we've got three different views for the execute window. We've got view design. This is where we're going to be setting up our grid. And view execute is generally where you'd go to play back the items on your grid and make use of your execute grid. View max is exactly the same as view execute, but it's going to put it up full screen for us. If I go back to view design, first thing you'll notice is you have no grid size defined, this large message here. This is telling us we need to set up a size for our grid. So up the top right, we've got set grid size here. If I select this, it's going to ask for a width and height. So I need to do width slash height. So I'm going to set 10 slash 10 to set up a grid that's 10 wide and 10 high. Press enter. And there we have it, we've got our grid set up, ready for us to start recording and copying over items too. So the first thing I'm going to do is just that, I'm going to record a queue to the execute grid. So if I go to layout one, select my spots, locate those and put them in the color and position like so. I can go back to the execute grid, press record, and just record that straight to the grid there. And it's gonna tell me it's recorded that queue to the execute grid. I can set that a name if I want to as well. So at the moment, we've just got the queue stack number there. I'm going to set that a name by going set and selecting the item. And I'm just going to call that spots. There we go. So it's giving it that name spots. And there's a few different appearances you can set up for items. So by default, it's set to colored. So you can change the color of the item. And we've also got boxes and images. So you can import your own images to use on the execute grid as well. If I go back to colored, we can change the color over on the F encoder here. So I can change it to red, green, blue, cyan, and so on. So I'm going to leave it on that cyan color. Um, I'm also going to copy over a queue to the execute grid as well. So you don't have to just record queues directly to the execute grid. If you've already got something recorded, say to a playback, you can also copy that over to the execute grid. So I'm going to press copy, select that beam tilt queue here and place it on the execute grid here. Right, so I've got one queue which I've recorded directly to the grid and one queue which I've copied over. So I've shown you how you can set the color of the item. You can also change the type of the item here. So by default, this is set to a button. If I go to view execute, you see I've got two buttons here. I've got one in the default blue and one in the cyan color I've set. And these just toggle on and off for these queues, like so. If I go back to view design and make sure this beam tilt item here is selected, I can change the item type here to first of all fader. So if I go to view execute again, you can see this one has now changed to be a fader rather than a button, which I have manual control over like so. Back to view design again, we've got a couple more options. We've got a, bu a flash button, so I can just flash that on and off like so rather than it latching. And we've got solo which we'll go into on the next video. I'm just going to change that back to a fader. And we can also adjust the height and the width of items as well. And this is in Magic Queue from software version 1880. So as long as you've got this version loaded onto your console or PC software, then you'll have this option to adjust the width and height. So I can do this like so, adjust the width there and height here. I want a really large fader for that queue. So now if I go back to view execute, you can see I've got this really large fader for this queue here, which I can drag up and down like so. So you can adjust the width and height of items as well. And you can really customize the grid to get it looking exactly how you want it. So that's a little introduction into the execute window. In the next video, we're going to go on to a bit more detail about the execute window.